Hi, this is Dr. B. Hi, this is Dr. B. Let's balance this equation. We can see we have five carbons, 12 hydrogens, and two oxygens. On the reactants, on the product side, we have one carbon, we have two hydrogens, and be careful, for the oxygens we have two, plus this one right here, which gives us a total of three oxygens. Let's leave the oxygens to last, and first we'll fix the carbons and hydrogens. I'll put a five in front of the carbon dioxide. That'll give me five carbons, so the carbons are balanced. For the hydrogen, I have 12 over here, so let's put a six in front of the water, times six, and now the hydrogens are balanced. For the oxygens, let's re-add those up. For the oxygens, let's retabulate now that we have coefficients in front of the carbon dioxide and water. So here I have 5 times 2, 10, plus 6 times the 1, 6, giving me a total of giving me a total of 16 oxygens here on the reactants. Here on the product side. To fix that, I'll need to multiply 2 times 8, and that'll give me 16. So I'll put my 8 up here in front of the oxygen, and this equation's balanced. We have 5 carbons on each side, 12 hydrogens, and then 16 oxygens on each side of the equation. It works best if you balance the oxygens at the end with these combustion reactions. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.